Professor Charles Hofficker initially created the five stages of information processing in his book Internet Marketing, which was published in the year 2000. It was proposed to help marketeers and advertisers consider how well their websites and adverts communicated value to website visitors. The five stages of information processing are exposure, attention, comprehension and perception, yielding and acceptance, retention. Let's explore each one of these in more detail. Exposure is the theory of ensuring the website visitor is exposed to the website for long enough to engage with the content or the advert. You should typically consider cost per thousand impression adverts or call to action adverts instead of pay per click when measuring the effects of exposure. These advertising formats provide greater potential brand awareness and as a result potentially greater exposure to your target audience. Attention relates to the physical factors such as movement and intensity that attracts attention when visitors are on a website. Comprehension and perception means how well visitors understand on-page content, including adverts. In the modern era, this is most generally related to the use of breadcrumbs on a website to help visitors navigate around the site. This enables visitors to browse a website and become absorbed into the pages getting closer to the next step. Yielding and acceptance means ensuring the web visitors accept or believe and trust in your information to get the visitor to stay on your website or proceed to the next step. Websites and adverts need to provide clarity for the visitor a complex website or difficult advert is unlikely to get click-throughs as the viewer has to process too much information at once. This means you have seconds to make an impact and to gain acceptance from the visitor. A good tip is to remember how many companies bid on their own brand names in pay-per-click campaigns, partly to capture relevant traffic and also as part of a wider brand strategy, as part of the trust and acceptance theory. Retention is all about getting visitors to remember key messages and encouraging returns to your website. This is done in several ways in the modern era. Think of social buttons such as follow me or share. Equally, there's also certain tools which websites use, such as abandoned shopping cart software. These tools keep websites at the forefront of the mind when a customer has added products and services to the shopping cart without making a purchase or finalising the call to action. 